In the realm of unexplained natural phenomena, few things are as elusive and puzzling as ball lightning. Picture this. A glowing, spherical object. Anywhere from the size of a marble to a basketball. Suddenly appears in the sky or even indoors. It hovers for a few seconds, sometimes moving slowly, other times darting unpredictably, before vanishing in a burst of light or simply fading away. This is ball lightning. A rare and mysterious form of electricity that has baffled scientists and fascinated observers for centuries. Unlike regular lightning, which we're all familiar with, ball lightning is much harder to study. It doesn't follow predictable rules, and there's no guarantee of when or where it might occur. For centuries, it was treated as little more than a myth, with reports often dismissed as hallucinations or exaggerated stories. But over time, the sheer number of credible witnesses, from scientists to pilots and even military personnel, made it impossible to ignore. Ball lightning is real. We just don't fully understand it. One of the most intriguing aspects of ball lightning is its appearance. It can vary in size, usually between a few centimeters to several meters in diameter, and its color ranges from bright white to orange, yellow, or even blue. The ball can last anywhere from a few seconds to nearly a minute before it disappears. Some people report seeing it float peacefully, while others have seen it explode violently, leaving behind a smell of sulfur or burning material. And the strangest part? Ball lightning has been known to appear indoors, passing through walls and windows as if they weren't there. The first recorded sightings of ball lightning date back to ancient times. In 1638, during a violent thunderstorm in the English village of Wedcom in the Moor, ball lightning was reported to have entered a church, killing four people and injuring many others. Eyewitnesses described glowing orbs of light bouncing around the inside of the church before they exploded. Since then, reports have come in from all corners of the globe, with sightings occurring during thunderstorms, after lightning strikes, and even in clear skies. One famous encounter happened in 1978 when a Soviet passenger plane was struck by regular lightning. Moments later, a glowing ball of light appeared in the cabin, floating calmly through the aisle before exiting through the plane's hull. The crew and passengers were left in shock, but the plane landed safely. While no one was injured, the event added yet another layer to the mystery of ball lightning. Despite its frequent sightings, capturing ball lightning on camera has proven incredibly difficult. It's an unpredictable and fleeting phenomenon, which means most of the evidence we have comes from eyewitness accounts. Over the years, scientists have attempted to recreate ball lightning in laboratory settings with mixed results. Some experiments have produced similar glowing spheres, but none have fully explained how or why ball lightning occurs in nature. So what exactly causes this strange phenomenon? Theories abound, but none are definitive. Some scientists believe it's the result of regular lightning striking certain materials on the ground, releasing vaporized particles that form the glowing orb. Others suggest that ball lightning is a form of plasma, a state of matter where gas is so energized that its atoms break apart, creating a glowing, electrically charged cloud. There's even speculation that ball lightning might be related to microwave radiation or chemical reactions in the atmosphere. But as of now, no single theory has been able to explain all the reported characteristics of ball lightning. What makes ball lightning so fascinating isn't just the mystery of how it forms, but the way it challenges our understanding of the natural world. It's one of those rare occurrences that reminds us how much we still don't know about the forces at play on our planet. Every new sighting offers more clues, but also more questions. Why do some people see it during thunderstorms, while others see it on clear days? How does it move through walls without causing damage? And why does it sometimes explode? but other times vanish without a trace. As scientists continue to study ball lightning, they face the frustrating reality that nature doesn't always play by the rules we expect. For now, ball lightning remains one of Earth's greatest unsolved mysteries, leaving those who witness it in awe and those who study it searching for answers. It's a reminder that even in the age of modern science, our planet still holds secrets, strange, beautiful, and sometimes terrifying. Ball lightning may be rare, 
but it's proof that nature can still surprise us in the most electrifying of ways.